Hello everyone. Let's begin our lecture on analytical reasoning. Analytical reasoning is part and parcel of every type of entry test, job selection test, GMAT based exams. We'll solve the questions based on past papers. Police officers are in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. Officer Baker is directly behind the stolen car. Officer Lopez is behind Baker. Officer O'Malley is behind Lopez. Officer Reinhardt is ahead of the stolen car and coming from the opposite direction. Officer Reinhardt makes a U-turn and joins the pursuit. He pulls in behind Officer Lopez. Officer Baker pulls up on the driver's side of the stolen vehicle and Officer Lopez pulls up on the other side. Which officer is directly behind the vehicle? So Officer Reinhardt is directly behind the stolen vehicle because he was behind Lopez. Mushtaq, Parvez, Ehsan, Umair and Salim are friends having different heights and weights. Mushtaq weighs four times as much as Parvez and Parvez weighs double than Ehsan. Ehsan weighs half as much as Umair and Umair weighs half as much as Salim. And these are the questions we have to answer. Starting from Salim, going backwards, suppose x for Salim, x could be any value. Now Umair's weight is half of Salim's weight. Ehsan is half of Umair's weight. Parvez is twice of Essen's weight and Mushtaq is four times of Parvez. Assume any value of x, preferably a value that is divisible by 4 and 2. Suppose x is equal to 8. Now plug in the value of x in every equation to check the relative difference among their weights. Now we can easily answer the questions. Mushtaq is heaviest among the five friends. Salim is the second heaviest. Ehsan has the lowest weight. Umair and Parvez are equal in weight. And we can also write them in descending order. This question is similar to the previous one. Ahmad, Ali, Akbar, Nasir and Shahbaz are students of a college having different heights and weights. Ahmad weighs thrice as much as Ali and Ali weighs five times as much as Akbar. Akbar weighs half as Nasir and Nasir weighs half as much as Shahbaz. We'll again start from the end to avoid any complication. Let's suppose x is an unknown value for Shahbaz. Nasir is half of x. Akbar is half of Nasir's weight and Ali is five times of Akbar's weight. Ahmad weighs thrice as much as Ali. Assume any value of x that is divisible by 4. Let x is equal to 8. Plug in the value of x and solve the equations to know the relevant difference among them. So Ahmad is the heaviest in weight. Akbar is the lightest in weight. Shahbaz is lighter than Ali and Ahmad. Shahbaz is heavier than Nasir and Akbar. And writing them in descending order. If you encounter this question in MCQ based exam, just directly assume a value for one person and calculate the other values. For example, assuming a value 4 for Parvez, just roughly guess with whom you should start assigning a value. Parvez weighs double than Essen, so Essen is 2. Essen is half of Umair, so make it double for Umair, 4. Now Umair's value is half of Salim's weight. So double the Umair's weight to get the Salim's weight. Mushtaq is 4 times per ways. 4 into 4, 16. In MCQ based exams where time is crucial, just reach to the answer as soon as possible. With a little practice, you can do it like this. But if you feel uncomfortable, stick to the previous method. 
five girls a b c d e and four boys w x y z have to go to a trip in three cars car 1 car 2 and car 3 the following restrictions for seating in car are to be observed only three persons can sit in one car at least one boy and one girl must be in each car a and d should remain together z cannot sit with b or c in the same car distribute boys and girls in three cars try to create small quotes for the conditions this condition has created a limitation for z either z will be with e or z will be with ad because z cannot be with b or c so we have permanent requirement for z in two forms when z is with e the other fixed requirement is ad now we can fill these seats in many different ways just by keeping these conditions fixed in such type of questions just figure out that what kind of limitations are imposed by the conditions given you can easily distribute the remaining members in the vacant positions let's make this question more challenging for in depth understanding what if the examiner says that provide all the possible ways of distributing boys and girls in three cars providing all the possible ways is quite tricky and challenging but if you have a strong grip of the previous lecture of permutation and combination then you can solve it with ease let's consider this type z is a boy e is a girl just coding for convenience ad are both girls so a boy must occupy this place how many boys are remaining w x y so there are three ways to fill the second car consider one way ad w and check how the other seats can be filled now we have two boys and two girls What are the possible ways of filling the rest of the four seats? If two girls are here, then we have two ways of filling the last two seats. Either X can be here or Y can be here. X and Y can replace each other. Now let's keep the two boys in the last car. Then in the same way, we have two options to distribute the girls. Now remember, you started with A D W. you have other two options to utilize adx and ady and the similar pattern can be created with the other two options of the second car these two options will also generate four other ways now keep the adx constant and create the four ways of distribution as we did before and finally we can create the other four sets with a d y so there are 12 ways of distributing boys and girls in this type of z e together now how many possibilities can you generate with the other type z a d together of course you can generate few ways but what pattern you should follow to generate maximum ways of distribution do it by your own If you identify anything regarding the concept of permutation and combination then let me know in comments I deliberately made this question challenging but in this question all you have to do is just generate few of the ways of distribution and try to create from both of these types of z limitation five friends Ahmed Ali Akbar Nasir and Shehbaz went on summer vacation to five cities v w x y and z by five different modes of transport that is by bus train aeroplane car and boat from point a akbar went to y by car and ali went to x by air nasir traveled by boat whereas shehbaz went by train for x and w there is no bus service the person who went to x did not use boat to travel now answer the following questions how did ahmed travel and where did he go 
विच मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट वॉज यूज बाय द पर्सन हु ट्रेवल टू एक्स सिटी ओनली वन मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट इज लेफ्ट एंड दैट इज बस सो अहमद ट्रेवल बाय बस एंड ही वेंट टू ईदर वी और जी फॉर द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन एरोप्लेन इज द आंसर सेवन प्यानो स्टूडेंट्स आर गिवन अ रिसाइटल एंड देयर इंस्ट्रक्टर इज डिसाइडिंग द ऑर्डर इन विच दे विल परफॉर्म X cannot play first or second. W cannot play until X has played. Neither T nor Y can play seventh. Either Y or Z must play immediately after W play. V must play immediately after or immediately before U plays. You cannot remember all of these conditions together. So a good trick is that you must create small codes for each condition. and this is a very useful tip we cannot remember the whole sentence but we can remember what the sentence is saying by creating a shorter code about it if we plays first which one of the following must be true so our question starts with if we plays first then you must be on second all we have to do is that we will insert x on third fourth and fifth position to check the possible orders x can't be on sixth or seventh position because w has to play after x and y or z must comes after w so two places must be vacant after x the question says which one of the following must be true so in all the possible ways we can see that z is on seventh other options are also correct but they are actually limited to one or two sequence but in all the ways z is on seventh 